Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Father who executed his three young sons, aged seven, four and three, confessed to planning the murders for months and hunted down one of the boys when he tried to escape, cops say. The Ohio father who was accused of lining up his three sons, ages seven, four and three, and executing them, planned the heinous killings for months, cops claim. Chad Duerman, 32, who was also accused of wounding the boy's mother at the family's home, has been charged with aggravated murder, authorities said. Claremont County's Chief Prosecutor of Municipal Court, David Gast, said during Duerman's arraignment Friday that one of the boys tried to flee into a nearby field but Duerman hunted his son down and brought him back to their home before killing him. Duerman's bail has been set at $20 million. He is currently being held in Claremont County Jail. The horror unfolded in the town of Monroe Township, around 20 miles east of Cincinnati. Gast called the killings the worst crime he'd ever seen, and that Duerman confessed to plotting the murders months in advance. Deputies responded to the home in Monroe Township shortly before 4.30 p.m. Thursday after receiving two 911 calls, one apparently from the mother who was screaming that her babies had been shot and another from a passing motorist who said a girl was running down the street saying her father was killing people, a news release from the Claremont County Sheriff's Office said. The deputies found three boys outside the home with gunshot wounds and tried to save their lives, but the children died at the scene. Haunting police body cam footage shows the moment officers arrived to find Chad calmly seated next to his rifle on Thursday afternoon moments after allegedly executing his young sons. Duerman was detained without incident after he was found on the steps of his Ohio property. I ain't gonna hurt nobody, Duerman told arresting officers as he told them that his dog wouldn't bite them. Shut up, dude. You have the right to remain silent. F asterisk 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 ing use it, a deputy tells him. The sheriff's office said the 34-year-old mother, who was not identified, was outside the home and had suffered a gunshot to the hand while trying to shield her sons from their father. She was transported to a hospital with injuries that did not appear to be life-threatening. They held these children knowing there was nothing they could do, Gast said. How do you unsee that sort of abomination? This was the man that every day they woke up looking to for protection, love and guidance in all things. Gast added. He was their world, he was their guardian and he executed them in cold blood. The sheriff's office said there were no signs of forced entry into the home and investigators are not looking for any other suspects. Durman later allegedly confessed to lining up his three young sons and shooting them one after another, as his terrified daughter ran screaming that her father was killing everyone, said prosecutors on Friday. He is also accused of shooting the boy's mother in the hand. He was charged with aggravated murder over the death of his children. Officials have not released a motive behind the shootings. Neighbors in Monroe Township, which is about 75 miles west of Columbus, reported hearing several shots fired in what they said is usually a quiet, calm neighborhood. I was sitting in the garage, and all of a sudden, I hear boom, boom and like five more, and I was like, that's seven shots, Alexis Spoonamore told WLWT. I'm shaking. It was a lot. It was bad. Another neighbor, Dan Thomas, told the station that nothing like this has ever happened in their community. I'm shocked, to be honest with you. We moved here six years ago, and the place is great. You just hate to see anything like this anywhere. Duerman's father, Keith Duerman, 59, said he and his wife were still trying to comprehend how their son could have allegedly killed his own boys, but added they have no answers. He just snapped, Keith said. There was something going on in his life that he couldn't handle no more. I can't talk to him, they aren't letting me talk to him, so I don't have any answers. He probably hid a lot of stuff from me. Chad's father said he had just visited his son last week. He seemed fine, Keith Dorman said. He was a jokester and a fun-loving guy. He also insisted that Chad did not have a criminal history or any mental illness. Chad was once charged in a 2010 domestic violence incident, during which he had allegedly choked his father. However, the case was dismissed when Keith Dorman failed to appear as a witness for the prosecution. 
The elder Duerman told the Post that the account recorded by the Cincinnati Inquirer was incorrect and that the judge dismissed the case. Just days prior to their horrifying deaths, Duerman seems to have changed his profile picture on Facebook to a picture of his three young sons. He also posted several pictures of himself with the boys in recent days. On June 11, a picture showed Duerman with his three sons all giving a thumbs up. Grandma loves this picture, a woman named Gloria Duerman said. A friend painted a slightly different picture of the suspect. He had a bad temper, really bad. I think he was a bomb ready to to explode, friend Mark Holland told the messenger. A neighbor, Richard Kincannon, went along with that sentiment in a separate interview with WCPO. He was angry every day. There wasn't a day he didn't yell at his wife and kids out there, Kincannon said. The day before the horror unfolded, the president of the baseball league where the boys played said that she saw the family. He was telling the boys to get in their car seats. Be safe. You would have not thought anything. Just normal typical conversations with another family on the ball field, Kristen Bennett told WLWT. While their team's assistant coach, Brandon Allen, called the brothers incredible kids. We're told these children were talented athletes and loved baseball. Their coaches are remembering these incredible kids. You can't help but think of all the memories you had, Allen said. They were quintessential boys. They were good boys. They loved playing ball, just everything you would want in a little guy that you're coaching, he added. A GoFundMe established for the family and the burial expenses for the boys has raised over $200,000. The crowdfunding organizer, Rachel Brown, referred to children's mother as her sister in a post. My sister lost her three amazing babies yesterday. Nothing will make this better, it will never be okay. But please if you can find it in your heart to help relieve the financial burden of this tragedy, please donate. No one should have to go through this, she wrote. Duerman will appear in court for a preliminary hearing on June 26. Claremont County Prosecutor Mark Tuckolf has not said if his office will be seeking the death penalty. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.